All right. So this question says that there is an infinite hexagonal shape, and we need to find this shaded area, right? And uh, the biggest hexagon has a side of two units, as you can see, right? And uh, its midpoint is defined with the midpoint of the adjacent side, making some portion of the shaded, right? And this process keeps on continuing till it. We actually need to find the this white shaded area, right? So let's assume uh, this. Let's say this is a. This point is point is clearly. Let's say this point is C. AD is clearly perpendicular, right? So by simply Pythagoras theorem, or you can say this is C. This will be thirty. So AD as it is a thirty sixty ninety triangle. And AD that should be half, and we can that should under root three by two right from Pythagoras or you can say from trigonal. AD is half, BD is under root three by two. So we can say uh, that area of triangle ABC, the first uh, triangle of the shaded portion, right? That should be half of will be simple under root three. That is simply twice of BD times height, which is that is again half, nothing but under root by four. This is the area of triangle ABC, right? Now let's let's consider this second triangle. Practically, uh, the side AB one and this side CD is nothing but root. So AB upon uh, this thing CD that is simply how much one upon and that is basically two upon root. And clearly, this triangle point is ABC is similar with these two triangles are clearly similar, and we know area of uh, ratios of area of two similar triangles is actually equals to the ratio of the sides squared, right? So we can say area of triangle A whole upon area of triangles that should be similar. That should be equal to AB square whole upon C, and we know its value, so that ratio should be four upon, right? Or you can say area of C that will be simple fourth of this area, which is under root, that will be three root three by, right? Right? This will be the area of uh, triangle CD. Similarly, this ratio will keep on uh, moving, right? Because we have an infinite shaded stream. Final area that should be equal to root by four plus under root three by four times by four plus root three by four times three by four squared plus and so on right? till infinity. So practically, we have an infinite GP, and we know the sum of an infinite GP that is simply a upon one minus. Where a is the first term and r is the common ratio, so its area will be under root three by four whole upon one minus uh, three by four, right? So that is nothing but so area of this shaded portion is simply under root three. I hope you have understood.